What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, check this out. Uh, Marvel hates money and Marvel hates you. All right, that, that's the conclusion we got to come to at this point. All right, let's just cut right to it. Marvel hates your money and they are tired of you trying to give it to them. Keep this filthy money out of our face. Take these dirty greenbacks, take them over there to D.C. Get that to the manga and anime. Get that to them dudes. We don't want your money no more. Stop trying to give it to us. That's basically the only thing that you can come up with at this point. You guys have seen this story, I'm quite sure. Uh, I'm a little bit on the late freight. X-Men reboot rumored to be female-focused with Mr. Sinister as the main villain. Now, Mr. Sinister as the main villain, whatever, that could be interesting. Why? After four years of MCU failures, MCU failures, starting back in 2019 with Captain Marvel. Oh, people love Captain Marvel. It made a billion dollars. It was a failure because that character, you saw the culmination of that character and the entirety of the MCU that we've been dealing with for the last four years. You had you saw that come to fruition. All right. As plain as it could possibly be made with the Marvels. They spent $275 milli on that movie to make $200 million. The $275 milli plus marketing. We don't even know how much they spent on marketing. But you can best believe they spent at least $100 million. So you're talking about a, a company that spent $375 million to make what? Not even $200 million because they only get half of the box office from that. The, where are they at with the box office? Yeah, right now they're sitting at $204 million worldwide. And we know, you know, quick table napkin math, they get about half of that when they split it with the theaters worldwide and everything. So we're talking about they made somewhere in the neighborhood of $100 million off of this movie. That's what they get to bring home after spending $375 million plus and then some. They can't sell no damn toys. Nobody's going to the movies to watch this trash. They can't get nothing going on Disney Plus. Disney Plus is losing money. This MCU thing has been an absolute failure, okay? And what's their conclusion? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We right on the right track, all right? We on the right track. We doubling down and tripling down on the MCU, okay? Let's keep the train going, all right? That's why I say they hate your money. They just hate your money. They don't want your money. So don't give it to them, all right? It's, I mean, I'm just amazed at this nonsense that keeps going down here with, with Marvel. I, maybe Kevin Feige, honestly, maybe Kevin Feige is working for the opposition. You know, maybe he's working for D.C. Maybe this cat is like a closet D.C. employee. Maybe that's the answer to this mess. We're going to get like a tell all book in like 10 years. Don't be shocked in 10 years. Kevin Feige come out. Man, of course I was working for D.C. Are y'all kidding me? Did you see how intentional I was trying to destroy that? I was paid off handsomely, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Kevin, we want you to destroy the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know, burn it from the inside. Destroy it. And let us have James Gunn. And then James Gunn go come build our... I, it, it's the only thing that makes sense at this point. Because for them to keep going with this, it's absolutely ridiculous. But let's go ahead and check this article out. We recently learned that Marvel Studios had finally started development on its long-awaited X-Men reboot. Should have started that a long time ago, by the way. Uh, with executives beginning to set writer meetings to hear pitches on how to bring the iconic mutant heroes back to the big screen. Uh, though an announcement is not expected to be made until early next year, we're hearing that several writers have now taken meetings and we might also have a slightly better idea of what the story will focus on. A script hasn't been written yet, obviously, uh, but according to insider Daniel Rickman, the initial idea is to focus more on the female members of the team. Uh, Kevin Feige is believed to want to make the movie as different to the 20th Century Fox franchise as possible, which also means no Magneto for the time being. Uh, the main villain is said to be Mr. Sinister, so on and so forth. I mean, I, again, just try to make it different as possible. What they really are trying to do, let's just be honest, what they want to do, they don't want it to be Wolverine focused. Because that's pretty much what the original, you know, X-Men run was. It was Wolverine focused. Wolverine got his own movie a few times, you know, and it really centered the, the, the key core story points often centered around Wolverine's character. You know, Hugh Jackman is a big star. So that made sense. Of course, yeah, let's go ahead and put Hugh Jackman front and center. You know, people like the Wolverine. People like the character. Let's go ahead and do that. That makes sense. But like, honestly, even outside of Wolverine, I always thought the X-Men was balanced. I always thought it was really good balance. 
Because you still had, yeah, you had uh, Wolverine, you had, you know, Xavier, obviously, Professor X, you had Magneto, uh, you had Cyclops, you had Iceman, you had Nightcrawler, you had, like, all of those male characters, but you also had Jean Grey, you also had Storm, you also had Rogue, you also had Mystique. Shit, man, like, Jennifer Lawrence's Mystique, she was, like, dominating that last set of films, you know? The last movie that came out, well, not in the New Mutants, but the previous one, it was the Dark Phoenix. That was Jean Grey centric. So it's like, it's not like they haven't done it. So again, this is just ideology. That's the problem, man. It has nothing to do, well, we got to be different from the last one. How are you going to really make the X-Men that much different than you made the last one? They balanced it out perfectly. It's just Kevin Feige is just a dope. One scribe who would love to take a crack at the story is Loki's Eric Martin. And from the sound of things, he's far from the only one. Uh, I think everyone's probably chasing after X-Men because I think that's where the richest characters are. Uh, Martin told Total Film in a recent interview. Uh, but I mean, who knows? That's a decision for someone who's not me. Uh, as long as Marvel is happy, of course. I'd love to work on some more MCU projects. I'm sure you would, you know. I didn't think Loki was bad. You know, the story itself is fine. Um, I thought that it was just, you know, for I'm a geek, though, right? I'm a comic geek. So that kind of stuff appeals to me. But I don't think it appeals to the main audience. I don't think the real like general audience, you know, your general run of the mill normie. I don't think they was feeling Loki. That's why the, the ratings in the second season, they was just I, right. you know, and there wasn't a lot of buzz. A lot of people weren't talking about it. We discussed that. Um, yeah. I, I, but I mean, I think it was, as far as the story was, it's fine, you know. So, yeah, if this guy got an opportunity to do some X-Men, you know, he probably could do a good job with it. Uh, I mean, Marvel has changed my life by trusting me to write this season. It was a lot of responsibility, and I hope I earned that trust, he adds. Uh, I think, for me, it all comes down to the characters. Do we have deep, interesting characters to work on? Yes, of course you do. Uh, that's what gets me out of bed in the morning. Can I tell a deeply emotional, character-driven story with these people and go on this and on this huge canvas? Of course you can. It's not about the characters, okay? Look, the the character. Do we have deep and interesting characters to work on? Absolutely. That's not the problem with Marvel, okay? The problem is this crap. All right, female focus. This is the problem. It's the ideology. It's Marvel has an ideology problem. It's not the damn characters. You got a ton of characters in Marvel. Are you going to do the characters justice? That's the question. You got a ton of good characters. Are these characters going to be done right? Are you going to do justice to the characters? Are you going to do the audience right? The audience that built these characters up and made them who they are, made them popular. Are you going to do right by the audience that's coming to watch the movies? The MCU, the MCU, the biggest sin is it doesn't do justice to the characters. That's the biggest sin when it comes to this entire thing with the MCU. It does not do justice to the characters, the men or the women. Why? Ideology. Okay? Focus on the story. All right? Focus on the story, not the damn gender or the race or the sex or the sexual orientation or any of that crap. It should be story focused, character focused. Not, oh, well, this person's a, a, a woman, you know, so let's focus on that, you know, let's focus on the female characters that again, when you start with ideology, you're already starting on the wrong side of things, Kev, you already started down a bad path, baby. You got to start with the story. You got to start with, okay, I got a great idea for a story and it just so happens to be that Storm is the lead character of the story, but the story is the main thing. It's not that she's a woman, it's that it is a great character, and this story I have is an amazing story. Man, listen to this pitch. But if you start saying, well, um, you know, we need you guys to come up with some good stories, but they all have to be female-focused, then you're already lost. You've already lost, and everything, that any possible good ideas that that story could have had are all going to be lost under the banner of ideology, under all of these things that weigh down good storytelling. If the story isn't first, if the entertainment value isn't first, and the agenda and the ideology comes before it, you've heard me say it time and time again, it is the biggest problem Hollywood has right now. And they, it's like they can't seem to get away from it. They just can't seem to get away from it. So yeah, uh, Kevin Feige is just going to keep on doubling down and tripling down on the same nonsense. He goes woke. He goes broke. The MCU is a complete failure. Oh, let's try it again. Okay, more of the same. That, I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. You would think after the gigantic failure of the Marvels, 
of the absolute embarrassment of the Marvels. You would think Kevin Feige's like, yo, you know what? It's going to be a full sausage fest on the next on the next go round. We ain't having no women up in this thing. We ain't about to have nothing but males, males, males all the way down the line. And that would be wrong. That would be wrong just as well, because look, even though um, comic book, the medium is definitely male centric, you can't just go all in. You know, it's like, hey, man, we need that balance. You know, guys like the sexy superheroes, too. Hey, man, we like uh, Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow. Yeah, bring her back. You know, well, maybe not her, but, you know, something like that. You got to balance this thing out. You can't go deep into the ideology like that. It has to feel natural. It has to fit. That's one of the biggest sins, in my opinion, with She-Hulk. She-Hulk is an awesome character, and she has a little sex appeal as well. Guys should have loved that show. That should have been a, a show. It's like if you do it right, guys would have been, ah, oh, man, this is great. And they screwed it up over ideology. Again, trying to go so hard in the paint with the feminism and the female focus that they lost a good character in the mix. That's pretty damn sad, man. But the same thing's going to happen with the X-Men. They're going to ruin this. Again. They're just going to keep doing the same stuff over and over and over. Woke, broke, repeat. You know, that's basically the theme over there at Marvel. Woke, broke, repeat. The MCU strikes again, man. It's going to continue to be the same garbage, man. It just pisses me off. But anyway, folks, you guys let me know what you think. I just think this is sad, man. I think this is really sad. Um, yeah, they just chasing everybody away from Marvel. They don't love your money. Get your money away from us. Give it to DC. Everybody's going to be like, yeah, we'll go ahead and get that money to James Gunn because at least he ain't doing this BS. Unbelievable. But you guys let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.